Mark's Green. So your special guest <laughs> tonight is Aidan Ottobro. Yo, 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 nice to see you all. It's lovely to be on the show. I hope we are all doing fine. I've got two chats up, so I'm not used to this. I've only <laughs> just got one chat up, but I've got two chats up. So um, please bear with me if I do miss anything. That's fine. Um, I usually miss dummies because I can't understand it. <laughs> <laughs> we need translator. Yeah, I'm translator. If it's in, if it's important if it's important, I translate. <laughs> <laughs> so tonight I'm using the Umair Flash VT1 with the dog on top from Zmodus. I've also got, when I find it, <laughs> my usual, the VK530 with the Kelpie on top and the Drag 2 Platinum with the Firelip 2 on top. Demi. I'm what also the Umir Flash, the Flash VT1 with the whoa, where's the camera? With the arm, with the armadillo on top. Is that the one that we? I think they were selling for about twenty quid, weren't they? Yeah, the yeah, yeah. The, the, it was a promotion on the Umir stand. We sold, I think, three hundred or four hundred on the yes, on the three days. Twenty quid for that. It, it really fires fast. Uh, the second, the Squonker. The Battle Star Squonker from Small End with the pump system, also with the armadillo on top, of course. <laughs> and th I'm and I'm regularly changing from that Squonker, the uh, the the RDA to this to the recurve. It's a pretty low build, so using that one. Then my Orion, like always, and f also for mount along my Manta on a. Uh, on the Lyra, my favorite combination. Oh, this always goes with me for Mount Alone. Always. I think I never leave it home. And that's what I'm vaping on at the moment. And what are you using, Aidan? Um, I've got a, a plethora of things. I've got <laughs> the old Banshee, which I absolutely love. I love it when it comes up with loads of words. This was given to me by. Um, oh, I'll do it now. Oh, it's gone, it, it was a gift from um, Mr. Coily. I really fancy. I never got one when it, when the first came out, and I really wanted one. On top of that, I've got the new Blitz. Um, it's called the Mate, and it's a disposable tank. Uh, not too bad at all. Uh, it's not adjustable airflow, but instead of having them little bungs in the top, what you've basically got is actually a, uh, an actual top fill, which is totally different to a lot of them. I've had the Jewel from um, Orgs Vape and I've also had the Preco from um, V-Zone and they're all like little bungs and they're just a nightmare but this is actually a top fill but it hasn't got adjustable airflow. Um, in that I have got some Leprechaun Juice, this is the uh, Dry Ice Sapphire, sorry Dry Ice range and this is the Sapphire Ice which is a raspberry and a um, palmer violets, which is really, really nice. Then I have got the, this is a limited edition actually, this is the ironclad from Vaptio with the Kelpie on top. Um, I've got some Rochford Project in there, love their stuff, this is the Black Vine. Then I've just got the new, uh, it's just come out, the Emperor for Steam Crave with the tank on, which is really, really nice. And I'll tell you what, this kicks out some right clouds. Cloudage for days. Only trouble is it's a two mil tank, eight two mil tanks. Uh, in that, I've got some Berry Blaz from my good friend Nick from Daily Bake TV. Then I've got the new. Um, sorry, I bet, you, I bet you're getting bored already. The I Stick <laughs> Rim uh, just come out, and I've got in that I've got some uh, Romance, and this one is uh, Blackcurrant Lemonade. And last but not least, I have got the new um, I Stick Mix from E Leaf. Which is really really nice and in that this stuff is like liquid crack I, I tell you now everybody go and get some of this stuff uh, it's the panther series from dr vapes and this is the pink panther it's um a black currant smoothie with um some candy it's like a candy floss with it's got like uh, creamy under notes to it this stuff is absolutely gorgeous really really nice and that's that's me all done and now how is the last juice for the course if it's real sweet 
it's it's not bad at all. I've had no problems with it. I've been using that juice with this since about Wednesday, and I've had no problems with it. But obviously, time will tell. Uh, with it being a stock coil as well, you can't really tell so much. If I were having it an RDA or something like that, you could tell a little bit more. Yeah. But no, um, no problems at all at the minute. All right. Right. So, hi to everybody in chat. Please make sure you go to your live chat. Uh, so on mines I've got Ronnie, Manic, AFC, Gareth, and Zor. Every week also, Zor. <laughs> IVC. I think that's everybody. Yeah, um, and in my chat also Ronnie, he's always in the two chats. Patcha, Steven, al always there. Little bro, baby. hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mike is there from my uh, Belgium vape crew and Chris Boutte, the guy who comes in the shop. Always the same in the chats in the beginning. <laughs> Always the same. Uh, I'm trying to get Would my... Just if I'm right way round because I changed my mirror thing. So is that, that's, that's right, I'm right way round. That's the right way round. Yeah. <laughs> I had to do the same for the screen. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I must have changed mine somehow at some point, and it's the, I thought I'm not right way around. Yeah. Yeah. Waiting a month that when I got uh, the money for my new computer, then my 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 live chat and everything's gonna look different. Yeah. <laughs> and well, then also, I'm, I'm I'm probably the same as you at the minute. I've got um, uh, computer problems, and it's it's the saving up sort of thing. Mine collapses when it wants to, it, but it's not bad. I bought it for fifty quid over a year ago, um, and it, it's kept me going. Uh, my mine is twelve years old, and I think I've got already got three extra hard disks on it from a, a, a tera and a half, and all full of it. Everything is full. Every every time I want to uh, want to make a new video, I have to throw another one off to to get place for that one. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. if I if I run X splits like this and I open YouTube on the same computer, everything crashes. So I've got a laptop in front of me for the, the YouTube. Oh, it's it's a hassle every time. And editing. Yeah. Oh. I'm sort of the same as you. I have to get. I've got an external hard drive that I push all my stuff over to, um, to, to just make sure there's plenty of space on it. And it's ready for a Hoover as well. I have to Hoover mine. Like you know yourself, with, with the amount of VG that's going around, it collects <laughs> dust. Yeah. If you change your fans so they're pushing out more than what they're taking in, you don't get the hassle. Do you? Yeah. That's probably what I'm. Uh, I'll, to be honest with you, I'm ready. For, I'm ready for a new computer. That's that, that's the the next big thing that's going to be paid out for is uh, a brand new computer. I don't. To be honest with you, you don't need anything like an i7 or out like that. Just a normal i5 with with a good set of um, RAM in it and a decent graphics card. You should be fine. Uh, um, that's the first thing I said when I, my RDA came out, and I said to my wife. I only need one thing from the money that comes in the first time a new computer and a good one with two screens and everything on it so I can go on for 10 years now and I'm good and all the rest of the money is for you <laughs> oh. take a trip go shopping I don't care but I want the computer <laughs> well you've obviously put the hard work into designing it and stuff like that so it's well to be spent, isn't it? It's, it's not like you're spending it on crap. You, you're actually reinvesting in yourself, are you? Yeah, I, I still can't believe it. Umir wanted to do it for me. I'm just a, a small reviewer from Belgium. Nobody, wa nobody watches me, <laughs> and I do my <laughs> and I do my reviews in Dutch, so that makes it hard too. And yeah, the after when. First, Kais wanted to do it. Then Watofo, and all they 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 backed out. And then Umir, I still can't believe it what they did for me, because they uh, actually they almost made the RDA perfectly like I told them and like I asked them. Only the there were two things I said in the in the last phase I wanted to change, and they they couldn't do it because of uh, recycle uh, old parts and everything. Yeah. So, but now. They already saying if it sells enough, you get the chance for to make a, a second one, and I, sc I still can't believe that. Uh, I, I started vaping three years ago, started in a shop, started making it, uh, stupid uh, videos in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> that, that went down to a, a crazy hobby, 
and now my own RDA is on the market in three years time and I didn't invest didn't need to invest anything in the in the RDA because it's a collaboration with Umir and they only give me oh, a. That's a fantastic. Bit. So, where did you actually come up with the idea for it? What, what, what was it? Was just something that you thought about and bang, you're doing it? Or I w actually, I dreamed. Of, I dreamed of the the deck. I was in in my yeah. In that time, I was making uh, reviews se seven days out of seven, and uh, I slept and I dream uh, dreamed about vaping, and I I was dreaming about the deck to put big coils in it and. I was right. I saw the bow in my in my mind, and in the morning I started on a small paper and I started drawing, and I, and I I made the bow like an armadillo. The name wasn't there yet, but I just made the, the figure of the deck and started with the holes and everything. And yeah, when I started thinking about it, how the airflow would come in and how would the airflow would go, I was almost sure. That it will be give a lot of flavor because of the the wall in the in the middle. Yeah. But f f you first have to try before you you know for sure. And Kais made me a sample with the deck almost close like it's now, and the RDA gave a lot of flavor, but the the grub screws came from the side and they made the uh, the coil turn. So I wasn't happy with that. No. And then. They said we don't go on, and then Watofo took over, and they made it with the grub screws from the top, but they 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 let it the, the middle of the deck open, so airflow co could go through, and all the flavor was gone. So then I knew when the deck is closed, the flavor is good, and when it's open, not. And then I took the best of the boat's designs and gave it to Umir, and they made it for me. And I thought that were amazing when you got the first prototype when it actually got sent through. You know, like you'd been done all these drawings, and yeah. then all of a sudden it comes through your little baby that you've designed. Yeah. I, 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 I might, me personally, I'd have been quite emotional. <laughs> I'd be, wow, look what I've got. A lot of times I pinch me in, the, in, in, I pinch myself to see if I'm awake or not because it, it looks also crazy that. The, uh, the the little thing I drew, it's on the market now. You see it on every website everywhere, and yeah, it's crazy. I still can't believe it. Actually. Yeah, it must be absolutely <laughs> fantastic to be able to see it actually out there being sold. Yeah, and Th other reviewers reviewing it. Which, uh, to be honest with you, I'm going to get my hands on one to, to to review. I will do a review on it. I'll get one or buy one um, to do a review. Thanks. Because I have heard that there is some good stuff. Have you actually reviewed it yet? Um, Eat my baby. Oh, it's up there. I haven't seen your review of it. I'll have to check your <laughs> review of it. Yeah, it's sitting on my squonker at the moment. But I've no batteries in it, so I'm not using it. You're not very good with batteries, you are you? No. He set off to Expo and forgot to charge them. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing my review last night and I went to go and drive on my coils. My batteries were dead. Because I was recording, I was like, oh, sod it. <laughs> 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 nah, just keep going. But, uh, I'm good with batteries, just forget to change them. Yes, Mike, I will have to get myself on here. I will sort that out and get a review out for it. It'd be nice to, to do a review on it. So, what do you normally do on the show then? What's your format? What do you do? Because I only come in now and again and, and say <laughs> hello, and then I'm usually on my way out doing our show. So, let um, me just talk generally. <laughs> about anything, uh, people co post questions and chat will answer them and so forth. There's How no structure. The, sh the show's been going for quite a while though, hasn't it now? 13th yeah. show this is. Oh, look at that. Oh. Did you do a show before though, in the week? Uh. No. Uh, we used to do it on our Friday night. Ah, that's probably what I'm thinking of as well. But we did manage children. It was better to move it to the Sunday, so we just swapped it on. And now there's four shows on a Sunday night between eight and nine. Yeah, it's it's, it's the only trouble. Yeah. I said, the subs have the subs has been going for maybe what, what I'm on for about maybe about two years or short. Um, I never did a show before on a Sunday. Well, only when I when I joined subs, 
obviously I were with the uh, last of the summer vapes with my brother I did that for about two and a half years I've, I've been doing live shows for about three years for sure from last of the summer vapes to the sabs to um, and obviously my show I do on a on a Wednesday which both of you will have to get you both on there <laughs> with Mr <laughs> Coily depends what time it we, we, we same time every week it's eight mile now we only do our show see years ago Everybody did two hours, but it, it just gets to the point where it's uh, quite a long time. Yeah, Ooh. it can be. <laughs> it can be really long. Where if you get that hour show, you can cram a lot into that hour show. You're not having any pauses or anything like that. Um, sometimes we we go a little bit over, um, and sometimes we just. I think last week they did a did a, uh, an after show. No, the week before they, they did an after show. I was working, but. See, before we used to do eight while um, ten, and then we used to do a, an after show after that as well. <laughs> so we'd be, on, continue we'd, on. we'd be on till like one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I needed to. I do, Mark, I do Mark show as well on a Thursday. That's always a good giggle, you know, my brother so long. Yeah, you've got to get him on here too. <laughs> yeah, he, he'd, love, he'd love it. <laughs> I, I got the troubles that my wife didn't see me anymore, so I needed to to downsize the days that I was up here. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's, it, it's the same with me. It's, it's, it sort of takes over a little bit. Three shows a week is, is quite a lot. I, I wasn't originally on Mark's new show, because when we all split from uh, last of the Summer Vapes, I had the show with Mr. Coyley, um, and Mark went off and did his own own show. So I just had the one with Mr. Coyley and a Sunday with the Sabs. So that's all I did, but I've sort of like become a, a fixture and fittings of his show on a Thursday now. So uh, yeah, it's quite a lot of shows, and then your reviews as well. That's my problem like, like lately. I I can't get to myself to to record reviews. I'm always busy with my Wednesday live vlog and then the Sunday live, and then trying to do a review. I was making the the my, the, the 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 video for, from the expo. I started it last night, and I worked till eight o'clock this morning, <laughs> all night through, to get it ready. <laughs> I've, I've, over the years, when I used to go to expo, I used to be the one who went back and I used to edit it there and then. So I'd spend two hours on the night time editing it on the first day. So I'd get back for say four or five o'clock. Before we went out for a meal, I'd start eating it, uh, eating it, editing it. Then I'd go and edit and eat the meal. <laughs> then I'd come back and do it and get it out on the night. Um, where this year, I said, no, I'm not doing it. So I took a bit of footage on my phone and I still haven't put it together. There's plenty of expo videos out there, isn't there? Yes. <laughs> I think I'm the only one that's showing off all the shinies. Or... No, that might be a bit better. Just, just show. I got quite a lot of the, the shiny stuff that were there. Once you once somebody's done a pan around and had a look around, it's but like you said, if they're actually showing the the mods and the stuff, I'm not too bothered about the juice. It's, it's quite interesting nah. spot. I don't do the juices. I just went around every stall that had mods on it and just recorded them all. Now yeah. we on top of the counters inside the guys, just so everybody seen what was there. Yeah, yeah. This year I didn't look at juices either. Other years I needed to for the wholesale, and I needed to to taste every juice there is, and I was all day vaping juices and till it came out of my ears. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this year was good. Uh, th this this edition was the best for me. I could stand on the Umia stand and I can can do my own thing. And when I wanted, I can go walk around. So it was it. Well, me and Paul McCartney, we wandered past you a couple of times, and you were stood in the same position, just like. It was a little bit like a shop counter, wasn't it? And you just stood on the side. Yeah, yeah. When they, when they were busy and there was an, another one coming on the boot, then I would do something. But for the rest, I let them work. They get paid, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> you was just there being the face. Yeah. And the only thing I got was food in, in, the, in the afternoon. That's, that's all I've got from it. So not working too hard. Didn't they pay for your hotel? No, 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 no. My bus paid my hotel. My bus from the shop. Uh, I'd have been telling Umi I want me, uh, I want me hotel paid for at least. No, uh, I, I tried, but they, they, they wouldn't do it. At least we got exhibitors passes off them. Yeah, 
that was that was the good part. <laughs> that helped me out on the Sunday because I sneaked in at the bottom door to see me walking all the way down the halls on the outside to come all the way back up. <laughs> <laughs> in the other door. Yeah, can the fire exits up by the car park? Yeah, that you have to walk through. But I sneaked in there with the exhibitors pass because I could. Can everybody walked in the road? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, th that was a good part, and then I could fill them on Thursday from uh, the building up. I've, I've got a, a whole piece of uh, film from the building up, so that was nice. <laughs> yeah, that's that's going to be a nice bit. You didn't get to go to the award ceremony, did you? That would have been nice of you. I don't think Umie went, I don't think. No, they didn't know when it was, and I didn't either, so yeah, that was a was, problem. They, I say you have to either have a table or, or be invited to one of the tables. It, it's rather expensive. I think I think the VIP tickets like what we had were like two hundred and eighty quid. I think the um, single, if it were just the normal ones, were a hundred and I think they were hundred and eighty or something like that, four hundred and sixty. My, that's a lot. It is a hell of a lot. <laughs> yeah. So I take it they don't allow you to pay some fifty. Oh no 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 no! Because obviously I, I was I was lucky enough to be voted for um, reviewer of the year um, in the Vapor Round Awards, which was which was quite nice. So I got to go and I took my brother with me. Um, we was actually with Vic, um, Vic Mullins, who won Reviewer of the Year. Dino, the Devil Vapor, he got second place. Chris um, Bell, Empire Vape, he got um, third place for the best store, which I think that were out about 261 stores, I think it was. That was a lot. But yeah, that's pretty good, young. That's yeah, nice. to say he's only got one store as well, and the rest of them, a lot of them had like a lot of stores. Um, so yeah, he did really, really well. TVP was there, Mama Vapes was there, and all. So yeah, we had a, a good, um, a really good night. We didn't um, actually get that drunk either. We were having a free <laughs> bar. You would have thought we'd have got absolutely leathered, but we didn't. I got drunk on the Thursday night. I was a good boy on the Friday night, and uh, I got a little bit tipsy on the Saturday night. I got rat arsed on the Saturday. I know. Yeah, I remember you wandering around, not knowing where you were. <laughs> remember, Mister Quayle got first. He's he got my Cameron. channel. <laughs> he did, yeah. He got first on the um, best accessory. He's um, he's actually on the show tonight with with Sab, actually. She's got a I mean, I'm messing around with my mic and it's not where it should be. There we go. But yeah, it was all nice to see friends winning. That's always the good thing about it. John, best nice to see you, brother. But yeah, it was all good. What did you two think of Expo? It was actually pretty good that it wasn't so busy. Because you could actually move around better. There wasn't so much leaflets getting chucked in your face as you were walking around, which was good. Um, the media area should have been the same size as what it was in October, because it was about three times the size. But obviously, we never used it, so they've reduced it, and then we go and use it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, to be honest with you, last year we wasn't really told about that. We just went where the bar was. Yeah. But to be honest with you, I didn't spend that much time in the reviewers area anyway. I I, I come back and said hello to everybody, and then went off and did whatever I was doing. Now with Paul McCartney, we were just having a wonder. That was like me. That's how I missed uh, meeting with the vendors on the oh, Sunday. Did you miss it? I missed it. Yeah. I got there and there was maybe two left. And that was it. Yeah. yeah. Help me. <laughs> Me too, missed it too. <laughs> I came also at the last minute. So. Well, if, if I'm totally honest with you, nobody actually told anybody, I don't think. I didn't know about it, it was just the fact I was there. Yeah. I was always on at the booth at Umer. I think I walked around three times or so, and that's it. One for filming and two times for myself, and the rest I was at the booth. So, and it was busy. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think actually anybody knew. No, I think it was a last minute thing that they done. Yeah, I think it was just a last minute. I don't, nobody ever, nobody said to us, make sure you're there at 11 o'clock because there's a load of vendors coming around. Um, I was just, I was just actually there, so that was, it was pretty lucky. A lot of the vendors that actually did come around, I deal with anyway, so it was, it was quite nice to see them. I think the only one I don't deal, deal with was, was Ultrona. No, I don't deal mm. with him. Yeah, that's the only one I didn't deal with. I ain't got it here with me. I got the little pixie, which was really nice. That's a, a nice little tiny mod, a stab wood. Yeah, I've seen that. That did look good. No, I only got one mod, 
Mark, I, 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 uh, I went back for the squonker eh? and I got the squonker from a uh, Viper or what? Viper, uh, yeah. And where is it? Vigor. Oh, the very eye. With a with a bottle that uh, is difficult to take out. <laughs> 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 I didn't. <laughs> I went back and I said, hey, he was already packed. He said, come, he promised me one. <laughs> <laughs> there were not people at the old town stand, they were really nice. Yeah, it was the guy from Cool Vapor that I've seen, or Cool Vapor, ah, it is Cool Vapor. And I've dealt with him before. And it was him that I noticed at it. So I'm taking it, they've joined together. Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah, it was the um, smaller one. It, was it Kevin? Um, I can't remember his name. It's quite big, bolt, bit like yourself. He's calling me fat. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, know like me. Oh, no, I, <laughs> I look totally different when I'm in a bra, like. But no, I don't know why I see that. <laughs> it's out. <either. laughs> I couldn't believe it. That, that were after a good night on the Thursday. It started off really bad, really, because we, we got there at like Office One. Paul McCartney was there. You were there. You were handing around your um, apple sours in your <laughs> flask. Well, and that's <laughs> yeah, yeah, flask. I was thinking it was going to be whiskey, or it was going to be vodka or something. No, that's apple sours. It's a nice <laughs> surprise for you, though. <laughs> It was definitely a surprise. It was definitely a surprise. But yeah, all in all, I enjoyed it. It was nice to meet up with everybody. It was a little bit quieter, like you did say. It was um, not as busy. Even when you and me were recording them all coming in, you could tell it wasn't as busy. Because in October, it took loads loads of time for people to get through. But this one, it just suddenly stopped. And I'm thinking, there should be more coming out of there. Yeah, I think October was about seven or eight minutes. This yeah. time, it was only three minutes. Yeah. Because I was timing it on the camera, eh? Yeah. I was recording and it was three minutes odds, set of three minutes odds on the Sunday, which is about half of what there was. Yeah, I think a lot of people go to Stuttgart at the end of the, at the month. Well, the, the, where we normally stay at the uh, Premier Inn, they've hmm. put the prices up quite ex quite a lot. Now, I think it cost me to stay there was £180 for the three nights and then £30 for your breakfast, so in total it cost me 210 the rooms have gone up for the three nights uh, up to three hundred pounds, so it's going to be three hundred and thirty to be able to stay there. That's like that's a lot of money. That's like fifty percent more. Yeah. Yeah. I paid. How much did I pay? Two hundred and eighty-seven for my four nights plus my meals, but I paid for it when I booked it back in May. Yeah, well, I I I paid for it um, in advance as well. Mine were like I said, mine were for three nights, uh, and I only had the breakfast. So, you might have got a bit better deal than me. Yeah, yeah. and then I tried it, uh, we'll come back there. It's up to, is it 360 for the four nights? With the meal? Including your meal? Mm-hmm. Well, your meals, your meal deal is £25 a day. Aye, so it's about £100 for my meals. So if you take yeah. that off, it's 200 nods for the four oh, nights. Do, do, you, um, do you not do the deal then, where you get the breakfast and the evening meal? Aye. That's that's 25, that's, that's 25 quid, that. Ah, so it's £100 for me for the four nights. Yeah. But mm. isn't too bad. No, that's not too bad, because I spend a lot of money in the yard and on food. Well, <laughs> see, my wife didn't come. When my wife used to be with me, and Mark's wife and that, we used to sit down, so it used to cost us like £50 um, a, a night. So, you, you, it, but the food was so hit and miss. One night it'd be really good, one night it wouldn't be. Yeah, it mm -hmm. depends on the chef it's on, I think. Yeah. But... So, we, because bad. it was just me, I don't mind slumming it. I went to the Asda, and went and bought loads of Dairy Lee Dunkers, and hot dog sausages, crisps, and stuff, hot pot noodles. Once you've had that ginormous big breakfast in the morning, which is like a... And the year, in October, I was taking a little um, Tupperware box and taking sausages with me. So on the <laughs> night time, I was just sitting there eating sausages. <laughs> Or a bit of bacon that I that I took as well. 
So yeah, you try and keep it as cheap as you can because when you're actually at the expo, you don't spend that amount much money do you at all. No, no. I spend the most of money on uh, food in the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> well, I spend between my fuel, uh, the snacks I bought for Asda's, and what I purchased and my drink was two hundred. That's not bad at all. That's not bad. That's right. yeah, I think I think with my hotel, with the hotel, all my other little bits and bobs, you know, like your snacks and your beer and stuff like that, I probably spent about about 350 quid, including my hotel. That's all right. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. It's still an expensive do. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah. For me. See, it's, I've, I've already booked for October, but I don't know what's going to happen on that. I don't know if I'm going to go down on the Thursday or... Uh, I don't know what my brother's doing, so he might still do the, the three nights, but I, I'm surmising that me and my wife might just go down maybe late on the Friday, stay over the Friday night, and then be ready for the Saturday, stay over Saturday night, and then do the Sunday, and then come home. That's what we're probably going to do. Yeah, I've done that. <clears throat> I'm not doing that again. I've done it last May and October, after the show on the Sunday, drove up the road. It was about midnight before I was getting home again, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's no good for you. See, <laughs> if, if we we jump on a train, obviously, we'd be back home at seven o'clock. I don't drive, so it, I might, I'd either jump back in with my brother in, in the car with him on the way back, or um, or we'd jump back on the train. Mm, yeah. That's what we'd probably do. I always take the plane. <laughs> you have to take the plane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or the car with the boat and. <laughs> Um, I IV says £300 cost hostel expo in October. It's £300 for the Premier Inn, it's not a hostel, so you might as well go to the Premier Inn if you're going to pay £300 for a hostel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I like it. I like the Arden because it's so it's quiet there. It's, if I come back from the expo, I need it quiet in my hotel, not too busy. Oh, you'd be no good in the Premier Inn, it's absolute mental. That's because I think not as well. <laughs> It, it it never used to be. See, when when me and Mark first ever went there, there was only a few reviewers went there. The other ones used to stay at the other Premier Inn. I think you stayed at the other Premier Inn as well, didn't you, my baby? No, I was at the... What is it called, Demi? The Arden. 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 Was that where I met Demi? Well, we, we used to go to the... We, we've always gone to the Premier Inn, but everybody else used to go to the other Premier Inn. Um, and then they started coming over to our side because it was a little bit closer to uh, to Expo. Yeah, that's why I moved to the Premier Inn because it's closer. Yeah. yeah, but it's so busy, so busy there. If you, if you go out front, there's 80 people vaping. If you are, <laughs> if you're in the Arden, you you go out for for a vape. There's three four people, <laughs> really quiet, really nice. <laughs> I need. Yeah, it, is, it is rather mad. You see, a lot of us all know each other. That's the the thing. Yeah. Um, we all uh, we all get together and we have a good beer. Because we spend a lot of time on social media together, whether you're doing shows with each other or you're just in contact with each other. Because you've been mates for such a long time, and it, it's just nice to have a bit of a blowout. It's like Nick from Daily Mate TV. He come all the way from America. We don't get much time with him, so we had a good beer with him. Yeah, and that's where it's all about. Expo is meeting other reviewers and having a good time with them. Yeah, and drinking with them. That's what I go for. M me yeah, too. Well, it's just like us, you and me, we don't have a, a load to do over social media, we talk to each other, but it's nice to bump into you and have a good chat with you and see if you're alright and stuff and, and what you've been up to, it's it's just really nice. And, yeah. and it just brings back that family part of uh, the vaping community. I think it helps that we're all stuck together yeah. when we're doing there for people to see us, mm. because then it's shown that we are sticking by each other. Um, and they should do the same, stick by other vapors. Yeah. To help them it. We have, in my chat, Jezza Jis asked to say hi because it's her birthday. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday, <laughs> happy birthday to you! Yeah. And I, I have to go to, to catch my wife at the station, so I have to go for a while. Sorry. Is that your way, Demi? Yeah. For a. Can you be back at I think for 20 minutes or, or something. <laughs> yeah. Well, unfortunately, I'll probably be hey gone by then, so I'm going to have to leave about <laughs> 10 to 5 to. Look, you just turn that lamp all the way that way. It's 
I've got a message. <laughs> I've got a message. She's already on the train, so she's. I'm at. I'm there at ten four nine. So <laughs> then I no have to be. Yeah. I'll get you when you come back. All right. You you might uh, uh, mate. If I don't catch you again, we'll have to sort it where we're on a show all together again. It'd be lovely. Okay. And we'll be getting you on the on the Wednesday show if you if you're free at one point. Okay, let me know. No problem. I'll see. Thanks. See you later. Um, and now comes the advertising of the armadillo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> once he figures it out. Yeah, once he figures out what button he's pressing. He can't hear us now, can he? He's no. Oh, I think he's just... He's not even done it. <laughs> <laughs> don't even forget. What, what, we were all talking just before, before we actually come on live. He was actually going to put uh, an advert up for the armadillo and he's obviously not, not pressed it yet. He's <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, anyway. laughs> well, right. away. Well, just think it's a good um, like security system because if there's any burglars, we can catch them. Yeah. Right, anybody that's a member on Dimmy's group, Facebook group, go and put I'm a twat in the group. Yeah. <laughs> Dimmy's, Dimmy's got worms. Because <laughs> <laughs> I doubt if he'll watch us again. Uh, IBC saying, yes, not a hostel, I'm staying, staying in the Premier Inn. Oh, look it. It'd be nice to see you over there, bud. It's, uh, I think you was going to try and make it the last couple, but you haven't been able to, so it'd be nice to see you. Yeah, it's good to see new faces now and again. Like, um, how is it, Michelle? We, Michelle? That's yeah. me than me. <laughs> yeah. I feel like was, a giant. Uh, <laughs> in fact, um, Roy's partner. I think so. Yep, she was really nice. Because she's originally felt this way. Is she? Aye. Uh, when she first joined my channel, I think it was Edinburgh. But now it's Ireland. Yep. Oh, I'm thinking that she moved uh, there beside them. I think they, they do a show, I think, as well. I think they do about... I think theirs is on about 9 o'clock-ish or half past 9 somewhere. Oh, don't know. <laughs> to be honest with you, there's that many shows about nowadays. It was a good thing about um, having having a network. I know networks are the, the, have, have done their time and stuff like that, but it was a good thing about the networks because obviously you knew what time people's shows were on. It were on one network. Yeah, and there was no overlappy shows because you just couldn't do it. No, it's a little bit of a free for all at the minute. Yeah, everybody's just doing a show when they want. Yeah, it, it does. It dilutes the audience a little bit. Um, but it, the thing is, is if everybody's there's a lot more casters than what there used to be. When I first started, you, there was like very limited. Well, there was shows, but there was very limited amount of casters who were actually doing it. Yeah, right, you I think because there's more reviewers now. Oh, there's a lot more. Because when I started, there wasn't that much. There was maybe eight, nine, ten. But now it's like overrun with reviewers. How long have you been reviewing? Um, about five years, I think. Is it five, five years? Year? That's, that's a damn long time, that isn't it? Aye. How long have you been doing the live casting? Um, not that long. Probably a year and a half. If I'd done a first live vlog, I think it's been about a year and a half. Aye. Yeah, I, I remember you do. You started off doing your, your vlogs. Was you was you behind like a green curtain or something? It was a, supposed to be a green screen, but it didn't work. No, it was like a, a, a green <laughs> velvet curtain. I remember that because I think I remember not October's. I think May's when you were showing everything that you'd actually got. Um, but yeah, I remember you doing that. <laughs> I didn't know you'd been doing it that long. Five years. It's, that's a lot, a lot of years to be doing it. Uh, reviewing. I, I'm, I'm just just coming up to two and a half years. I've been doing it. Um, but when I started, there wasn't that many either. But now everybody in the dog's doing it. No, You've got a lot of face. I think a lot of people think it's easy. <laughs> I wish it was. <laughs> I think some of them um, 
we, uh, yourself included, you've watched. I've watched plenty of them come and go. Where they think it's easy, they think it's just about that you're going to get free stuff all the time, and it's it's not how it works, is it? No. The first video went up on the 11th of June 2015, so it's coming up four years. Yeah. Yeah. And my first couple of videos, you never seen me at all. It was just down shot with my phone, and that was it. All right. See, Mark, Mark, my brother, he, he he's coming up to four years in um, August. I think it's August. It's either August or October. One of them. He's coming up. He's been doing it for four years. Yeah. He's just but shy of his uh, three thousand as well. He ain't got far to go. I'm just short of me two thousand. See, I'm not one that much. <laughs> I'm only one thousand five hundred. Well, it's just, mate, you, you just keep going, don't you? That's. It's not so much about that. It's your views as well. What, what are you getting in your views? I do more live shows than anything. That's the ones I love. I love these live shows more than out. Live shows are okay, but I think if you do them too often, people will just get bored. Yeah, I, I, I can see that. Um, it's, it's never bo obviously if you watch our live shows, they're never boring. <laughs> we do have a good drink and a good old giggle. Um, yeah, we don't do too bad. We still we get quite a lot of views on the um, Wednesday night show and quite a few on the subs and on marks. So yeah, we, we're doing pretty well. I've, I've been doing it for quite a while. That's how I started with the, with the lives. Yeah, no, no, I started with reviews. I've never done a just review and I never will. It's just hardware and accessories. Um, well, I started off with I started off with juice reviews. That's how I started. Yeah. Um, obviously, Mark Mark were reviewing, and I had a mini stroke, so that that sort of got got me completely off the stinkies, and I went straight onto the Sav show. Nearly about two weeks after I had it, I covered for Adam, and then I went on and just stayed. And then it got after the Christmas. I thought, well, I'll tell you what, I, I, I fancy starting this review. I think my first one come out on the January the fifth. Uh, it came out. Which was uh, yeah, so it's just yeah, coming up to two and a half years. That's all right. Yeah, I, I, I've I've done so many. Uh, I think you must have loads of videos. How many videos have you done? Um, can you tell you? I think I'm at about two hundred and eight or something like that. I, I don't. I've got loads of reviews out. Uh, Three seventy videos. Three hundred eighteen thousand views. See, that's a hell of a lot. I think I, I, I think I must be just coming up to hundred thousand. Well, one of my videos from back in the day <laughs> actually hit twenty-five k. That's good. That. What? What were it for? A uh, tank section for the sub tank minute that top fold. I say it's when they go like that, innit? And it's like, what? I've got that many. Nah, can I hear? <laughs> That's the thing, that's, that, that's what it's all about. Um, if I open it up, I'll read the right amount. 25,058 views, and it was put up on the 30th of July 2015. And it was my third review I'd done. So I'm pleased with that one. Yeah, mate. That that's that's all, and, and things like that. I I really do love other reviews when this when it, things like that start happening. Um, it, it, where you're getting a massive lumps of views on it instead of like the big boys taking it all. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've just been an accessory for it. There's no other reviews for it, and that's where it's hit so many. Do you know a lot of my, the, the big ones that I've got are a lot of the stuff because on my channel I review a lot of stuff that people don't get. Um, but the 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 ones that are, are not so well known, like the starter kits that you can get off of Amazon and, and stuff like that, they do better than some of the newer stuff that's out there. Yeah, it's hard now to get something that nobody else has got, as in mods, RDAs, RTAs, because guaranteed someday will have been sent it for review. Yeah, it does make it a wee bit harder. So well, now you're it's like the Kelpie. I got the Kelpie sent out at the same time as everybody else did. But so there's loads and loads of reviews that, that come up at the same time as yours does. Um, look at the Glass RTAs. Even when V Zone brought out the brand new Preco and and the the 
was it the vowel everybody's got the same one so yeah. you're, you're scrabbling around for the, the views on them well my kelp are views now aren't you I just recorded that last night it's probably a good idea that it's probably an idea to hold on for a while to somebody I did that with the um, uh, blah, blah, blah. I did that with the FP I held on for about a month well, I just got it on uh, Wednesday before I left for Expo on the Thursday. Yeah. What, the um, FP or Kelpie. the... Kelpie. Kelpie. Yeah, I, I got mine the week week before. Because oh, I, I had to purchase mine for yeah. I got mine on the Tuesday, tu I got mine on the Tuesday, I think, the Tuesday afternoon. And then I did the review on the, either the Wednesday or the Tuesday afterwards. Hmm. I had it a week testing, that's what I normally do with RTAs and RDAs. About a week test them, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, I'm the same. I'm always there a week. Um, AFC One Ball, how much uh, hardware do you buy for yourselves against to what you get sent? It all depends um, what's <laughs> coming in. Now, you've obviously only got so much time to do and test what you've got. So I, I'm pretty lucky, Touchwood. I get devices sent in quite often, so I'm normally testing them. But if there's something that I really want to review that isn't going to get sent to me, I go out and buy it. Um, but you won't, you'll, you'll know yourself, won't you? That you can only test <laughs> so many devices at once. Yeah, like well, near enough, everything that I review, I buy myself anyway. Yeah, and that's what I want to review, which is good. That's why I'm not wanting all the high subs, because then companies will just keep sending you stuff, and you never do want to review it, and you're obliged to review it because you've been sent it. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty lucky with my job. You see, I only work two days a week, normally a Friday and a Saturday. So, um, and I run an entertainment company. So anything else that's that's work-wise, I can do with my phone at my desk. And so I can put out whatever amount of videos I want to, and, I, and when I when I want to. Um, but I'm forever testing something new. It's, it's like these come in. All three of these came in last week. So I've got all three of them to do. I've got some. I still do juice reviews, which I really like doing. Um, what else am I testing? Also that Umie. I've got the diesel. I've got. I've done the Steam Crave RTA, but I've got the uh, RDSA, which I've just recorded. That's out this week. And they're ju they're just sending the new Aromamizer one that they've got light. That's coming out. Yeah, <coughs> he's watching. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just prefer it that I go and buy it myself. That way I can. What match we get then? Yeah, no, I, I can understand that. But obviously, if companies are contacting you, are not going to go. No, I'm sorry, I won't. I won't take the up-to-date stuff that hasn't been released yet, because that's where you get your. That's what you're here for to test stuff. Yeah. And it was like when Vupu contacted me. I was in two minds whether to say yes or no. And I was like, I go and just send them. Was that because of the review or because of the crap that's been coming out with Vupu? Obviously. The stuff that went off before, and also the stuff that went off with Ben Phillips. You know, when they, they sent him something to do it, and he put helium in it, didn't he? Something. Yeah, a bit of both. Mm. Because of all that that had happened with them, I was like, mm, they are, they are no. I, I, I'm mm, one of these. I just send them. <laughs> How many times have you seen it, and you would have seen it quite a lot, um, where one week a company's the worst company in the world and next week they're fine? <laughs> yeah. You can be very fickle. So I was like, yeah, i just send them. So hopefully I'll keep sending stuff, and then that'll give me two companies. But e -Leaf haven't sent me much lately, which I'm thinking they're going to stop probably. No, it's, it's like I used to review all the time for Joytech, um, but if somebody leaves from their, from their marketing team, and if they leave there, it, it, somebody else takes over and they just redo it again. I've had plenty of companies and it just takes a while for them to, to, to get back in touch with you. So you used to do a lot with Baptio, didn't you? That's sort of the same as I did. Aye, and then Jason left and that was it. Everything yeah. stopped. <laughs> I, obviously, I still deal with them. They, they, uh, I was at, did you did you, you didn't go to Jam, did you? I was actually on their, their stand on their video stand. No, it wasn't at Jam. Yeah. It's on my Expo, go to. Ollie Quinn, nice to see you. Um, the first show that I went to was one in Shrewsbury two years ago. Um, vape Vest. Aye. 
and that was crap. There was only about 20 stalls, 30 stalls. I was there, me and Mark were there. Aye. And I was like, nah, this isn't for me, like, just walking around the field about 50 times a day. We were, we were the same. Right, my friend, unfortunately, I've got to go, because I've got to go and get ready to get on to the next show. I just want to say thank you so much for having me on here, and I'm, hopefully, maybe we could do something like a special, and where I could come on, um, where we could have the full two hours together, it'd be brilliant. Yeah, that'd be a special with Savs and us together. Yeah, you never know, we might be able to do that, get us all on together, all on one channel. Now, well, be two for us. Yeah, <laughs> two for you. Two channels, yeah. Yeah, we'll have to sort something out, mate. Yeah, so instead of saying two chats, we'll pay three. There'll be three, yeah. <laughs> Spread it all over three. Well, yeah. it has been absolutely great pleasure for, for actually being on. Thank you so much for inviting me. I'm so sorry I couldn't stay for the full two hours, mate. That's fine, as long as you've been on. That's yeah, amazing. no, I've enjoyed it. And like I said, you have to get my brother on. He normally follows me. Yeah, I'll have to check calendar for next week. <laughs> yeah, you absolutely get it. A big shout out to all of you in chat. Thank you so much and continue to support the show. They're absolutely corking lads. And I will hopefully see you all again. Thank you very much. Sure, no. Have a good one, brother. I'll have to try and get myself out of this now, won't I? Without wrecking all the call. No, because I made the call, you should be fine. Oh, great. You can get rid of me then. <laughs> <laughs> see you later, people. Yo, yo, yo. Bye. Not, not yet, still there. <laughs> you're, the one you're, you, you're supposed to. Are you getting rid of me? I'll try.
So you got I'm filling in. Oh, first I'm gonna take my jacket off. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so. Hello. So we should be back. Yeah. I'm going to take my jacket off. Ah, I'm going to have to fix my window. Right, see what you're doing now. I'm going to hang up and re-phone you so you can answer on your computer. Oh. Okay. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, Alright. And what? What are you done? Wait a second. I have, I have to fix, fix your window. window. Right, so we are back <laughs> and sorry about all the hassle we've had. Oh, my camera. No, what am I doing? There you are. All right, with my my ears. Okay, now I hear something. All right. We're back. Yes. <sighs> drink, 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 drink. Thirsty, thirsty. Mm. Oh, yeah. I am trying to fix my camera because I'm facing the wrong way for some reason. <laughs> Uh, it's the same with me, actually. <laughs> I no, you're around. the usual way. Yeah, wrong way. <laughs> don't know what's happened then. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody's getting everything back to front. Welcome back. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Harley. <laughs> You and Benny. Yeah, because yours was just showing VC. Yeah. Now he's back. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I'm still trying to fix my camera. I stay off everything. <laughs> I'm always scared to touch something. Um. I don't want to do anything in OBS in case it mucks it up <laughs> or it gets shown on <laughs> day. <laughs> Most of the time it's VC that's, that uh, turns the, the picture around. Yeah. Mirrors it. That was the thing I was just looking. You, Peter! Mm. Come on. Batteries. Flat batteries. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty quiet here. It's always quiet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I'm really tired. The the video I put up this morning, I started it last night at uh, around seven, and I worked till eight in the morning, till it was finished, <laughs> and I didn't sleep. And I went to to bed at eight, and I went up, and I s went up again at nine, and uh, went to work, and <laughs> I'm really tired. <laughs> It's hard to keep my eyes I'm open. Not, I'm not too bad. Oh, I'm still not. I'm still not uh, back. Uh, I'm still not fully oh. back since the uh, expo. Are you yeah. back? 
Okay. Mm. I've got all my 10 batteries recharged again that I used when I was at Expo. Actually, I, 10 sets. I still have to start recharging my batteries. <laughs> I, I had a lot of work with getting the uh, the video together from the Expo. All the footage and everything look f looking together on my phone, on everywhere and <laughs> starting to edit it and it crashed and did it again and, and again and <laughs> so uh, it was a hassle so I couldn't do anything else tomorrow no normally tomorrow night I start filming the first things of the of the reviews the close-ups that that's the planning for tomorrow if everything goes right <laughs> <laughs> No, I was lucky, I was testing this charger out, oh, I'm just like Mike, um, so I was managing to get more batteries charged than what I usually would. Yeah. Yeah, What's uh, Peter saying in your chat? Peter Plata, Puss, Pussy, what's <laughs> he saying? Uh, don't mind him. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind him. <laughs> no, I, I, I've got everything. I, I, I looked at everything that, that I got from the expo, but everything is still in the box to do uh, to close up unboxing. I, I keep I kept everything in the box so I can I can record all the close up recordings behind each other, so I don't have to move the camera or, or anything, and I can just. Uh, every time I, I uh, record a close-up from the one item, take the next, to take that close-up, and that's the first thing I'm going to do, and then all the rest. <laughs> no, I usually do like a first look at it, so I'll show them around it, and then I'll usually just sit them in front of the boxes behind me, but there's that much there that I can't do that, so if I took them back in their boxes, apart from the ones that I'm testing just now. <laughs> I, I'm, now I'm going to start with recording the unboxing first and let them let them see everything and before I start the build I'm, I first test it and then I take the build out and then I make a build in close-up but no. I first go, uh, I want to f I, 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 I want to find a, a schedule in my in my recordings that it goes faster or smooth more smoothly <laughs> <laughs> so I just record one piece at a time and then I'll you know, start testing some and then record the uh, the building and then record what I think of it <laughs> in the intro <laughs> uh -huh. see I usually do two reviews a night on a Saturday night because that's where I do my reviews so I'll do up here where I am then I'll go over there and do the table cam and then I'll come back up here and finish with both so it'll be like two starts go over there do the two up close and then come back and do the two end parts that was my planning too but every time I tried that it went horribly wrong <laughs> and it took six seven hours to finish so uh, I'm, I'm looking for something <laughs> I don't know how but I'm looking so I, I've got too much stuff now so I really need to move on and get my recording back up <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm glad my expo video is is is, is uh, went all right and or uh, I'm, I'm happy with it so also took me a long time but I'm happy with it now <laughs> I, I yeah. the, re the recordings of the the FaceTime I, d I, I all, all did last night <laughs> in the middle of the night <laughs> because I finish with everything over this side and because of the live shows is done over this side yeah that's where I start over here then go over there and then come back because I need the microphone to get moved from where it is here to over there for where I'm doing that core stuff <laughs> and then have to bring it back across and the same with the camera stand yeah, yeah. now I'm, I'm trying to do everything with the webcam for uh, the FaceTime and with the camera for the close-up but I'm not going to record it at once or, uh, or so so I'm going I'm, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it but <laughs> 
I'm not sure, but it's going to go through X split, but not sure how. I think in small parts yeah. or so. I, I will f I'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really need to do the mesh man kit. The, that's the priority. I've got it too the long now. Man. Yeah, I really need to do that one. <laughs> no, every so often my camera is disappearing and coming back. I'm trying to see if it's doing it on YouTube or not, or it's just on mine. I think uh, it's just on mine on OBS. Yeah, because your camera here is okay no, on mine. on YouTube as well. Yeah, it's showing up on YouTube as well. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Um, but we're still looking at for next week. Yes. So th this here is my back to front. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to s have to get some sleep uh, till uh, against next week. Cause I, f I I can hardly speak now. Really, I'm so so tired. So it's it's a struggle today. <laughs> Yeah, well I'm back to work tomorrow. Me too. I'm all. I've got to shop for myself tomorrow. My colleague isn't working on Monday, <laughs> so that's my that's my long day Monday. I don't know what I'm doing until I get there, which is a wee bit of a pain. I already I already worked today, so <laughs> and oh. that and that hurts. <laughs> After one hour sleep, it hurts. <laughs> Yeah, uh, who's still there? Tess is still there. Good evening. Okay. I don't know, but I've lost some views. There's some went away. Um, if yeah. you are watching, give the show a thumbs up on either mines or dummies or both, if you may choose to do so, if you're watching both. And if you want to be like the person that gave me a thumbs down before the show even started, I don't mind. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, oh, I, I don't know what to say. I can show again what I got from the expo, but I showed it already in my vlog. So, I don't know nah, what to say. That would be a waste of time. Yeah. I did get a great meal this week though. I got myself a Alpha 3. Hola. And what does that do? <laughs> I, I, I heard about it, but. Uh, Your bottle? For, yeah. Yeah, you put it over the top, yeah. down. Um, and then try and grab it and throw it up. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that looks you easy. You really <laughs> need to find the biting point. It, it is once you know what you're doing. It's actually hard to do it on camera. Um, because you have to try and grip it right and do uh -huh. everything. And that looks easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's still a wee bit niggly. I've got my I've got fake mail tomorrow and Tuesday. I've got my uh, tracking from DHL. I know it tomorrow it will be the bulk RTA, but bulk? yeah, but at, uh, on Thursday uh, on Tuesday I don't know what is it because Kaisa said it, they will will send it me something later, so I don't know what's coming on Tuesday. It's a surprise. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a smart thing. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it did work eventually. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to try and get a wee fix for it though, so it is a lot easier. I don't know if it's because my bottle's all chewed with using screwdrivers or not, it's making it hard. Um, <laughs> because I don't have any like that, it's brand new. Yeah, old, old bottles. 
Yeah, because I just keep refilling them up. Like right, before the show, I mixed up my frozen pond. My 400 mil. <laughs> Your frozen pond? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which means I'm still to try that duck's breath. I'm still on my coffee. I, I try something else. I I I, I, t I took temples and I'm tired of it. And I'm back on my coffee. <laughs> it's always something. And I tried the harambe again. And uh, I tried the saltnik also. And oh, I've I've ate it for a year and a half, and I'm so tired of it. <laughs> John, my opinion on the kelp is: if you're waiting for a single coil RTA, go and get it. I hope I'm still getting it from uh, <laughs> the company. <laughs> um, I can't remember when it's gone up. It's hit gone up on Wednesday this week coming, I think. Mm -hmm. I think it is. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it is. If it is, I'll have to do the editing tonight. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, because I might be testing these, but I've been using this more. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the flash fires really fast with the new update. Because I, I had the, 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 the prototypes, and it's a really big difference how, fa how quick it fires between the prototype and the new one. It's a really big difference. Yeah, Graham, you're right, it is all just because <laughs> you're filling it up every couple of hours. Um, it's but there's not many cons for it. Because in saying that, the dog does the same. It just guzzles the juice as well. Yeah. And is that a bulk? Do you have the bulk? No, dog. Ah. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Mother. Yeah, still need to get. Yeah, still need to pack all everything out. So. <laughs> <laughs> it was a really not a lazy week, but a lot of companies already uh, contacted me back from the expo. So it was a lot of emailing and chatting this week. I've not had much. Two, I think, got back to me. Uh, f now five, I think. Just companies. No, oh. no, for me, hardware companies, but nothing came out yet. <laughs> so there were uh, most uh, uh, sales managers, so got nothing to so do. With. I, I I'm don't trying to get them to send them for my sponsor for my channel. I'm gonna get. Uh, I'm. Uh, I'm talking to a spon with a sponsor for my uh, vlog. On Wednesday, he, uh, a call sponsor. He would provide me with calls and uh, for giveaway probably. So we're talking about uh, how we're going to do, going to do it. So I maybe got oh. a sponsor. <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs> yeah, and we're both excited. So looks good. <laughs> Actually, be able to do giveaways on the show. Yeah. Remember, if we do giveaways, you will have to pay for the shipping. Yep, that's on mine too. <laughs> I d I almost do on my Wednesday vlogs. I almost do a giveaway every week. Almost every week. I don't, cause I don't get that many people watching. About eight or nine watch it live. Yeah. So but I or whatever, but it may change um, in the future that there will be giveaways every week, cause I've got all the stuff that's up. There that you can see to give away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've got now. I've got a giveaway running for uh, the cool vapor. I, I did a review already. So the caval cavalry, the cavalry. cavalry yeah, I, I thought so. I told them. I already did it. Ah, we'll take it, take it. <laughs> okay, now I can give it away. <laughs> I did it. So, uh, 
uh, a follower of me posted it. Hey, you already did it. I posted it in my life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, John, the hex screws you need is 2.5 or M 2.5 by 4. I'm using M 2.5 by 3, but you're probably better with the 4. Okay. <laughs> and where where do you find those scr small screws? Because I can't find eBay. them. eBay. Mm, okay. Online. <laughs> uh. I was I was looking in a hardware store here and they don't have that small. <laughs> no, no. Um, uh, and eBay I you get fifty for about three pound odds. But eBay, <sighs> there's so many different things, and I I never <laughs> use I never use eBay. <laughs> oh my god. No. Mm, about the best place to get hex screws over here is eBay. Uh, I never ordered anything on eBay. I've actually, if I order something online, it's on Bob.com from Holland. That's the only <laughs> thing I, I I order something online. The rest, I actually, I I never look for any further. So they've got everything. So <laughs> just open that and well, okay, <laughs> buy it. Now the next thing I'm I'm going to buy is uh for the Stuttgart. Um, the Stuttgart Expo, something uh, for my camera, how, a wobble or how it's called, for uh, to put on your camera and keeps it steady. Same camera, Yeah, to walk around on the on the Expo. Oh, the gimbal. The gimbal, gimbal. Yeah, yeah, that. I'm I'm, I'm looking for that now, because uh, my my videos for uh, from the Expo when I was walking around. They were all really shaking a lot, and luckily, uh, with the program I edited it with, I can take a lot of the shaking out. But it wasn't uh, in the beginning. I thought, oh, I can't use any of it. <laughs> well, I'm thinking about just getting a pole because my gimbal when I was walking, I'd be holding it like that, be straight in front of me, and I'd turn a corner, and the camera would just swing around, so it was still facing the way that it was facing. <laughs> oh. But can't can't <laughs> can't you lock it on a? I don't think so. Hmm. Uh, it can't be. <laughs> can't be. Or can you can or you can turn it automatically or anything. No. I can turn it so it's instead of facing away from me, it faces towards me. But I can't turn it back to face away from me. I have to do it manually. Okay. <laughs> It's not a really good one, eh? <laughs> it should be for the face. Um, when I was doing some shots of the cabinets, it would just swing that wee bit. It's like a quick move. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Um, <laughs> and you can notice it on the video mm. that I did. That's strange. Yeah. All, all the other reviewers <laughs> use it. So <laughs> I know. Uh, I don't know. I may just have to play a bit with it a wee bit more. Uh, to, to see how it works. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm going to look for one. If it's if it isn't too expensive, or else it has to wait till next month. <laughs> but then it's too um, late for the expo. <laughs> Mine was 180 from uh, China. From China. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's why it doesn't work, it's from China. <laughs> Most of it's called goods are from China. Yeah. That's where they're all made. Yeah, but you've got a lot of copies in China on the websites. <laughs> My armadillo already got a... <laughs> is that cloned, is it? Yeah, yeah, it's already cloned. <laughs> nah, I went to the manufacturer of the product itself and what so I can it's not coin. Uh, okay. And still it doesn't work. <laughs> huh. Yeah. Okay. But I've not had a play around with it that much. I think I've maybe done an hour an hour and a half before it came at the expo. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Explains a lot. <laughs> Yeah, Graham, I think I was the only one that actually went around doing that. Mm. 
kind of mean to see anybody else's. Mm. No, I didn't take any uh, a lot of close-up shots of all the hardware either. I just walked around. I didn't have the time <laughs> to stop everywhere, and I didn't have the time. <laughs> I'm I'm glad I got I could uh, walk around the whole expo once with the camera on. I could I could do it in f in three or in four takes. I, I've got the whole expo, so I'm glad of that. And then I've <laughs> got a, a, a really big part of the expo when it's when they're building up. So I was I'm glad with that too. So uh, I'm I'm happy how the how the video came out. It's the best one since I went to the expo. Other years it's I didn't have any footage or not a lot. And now I could choose from photos, I could choose from some videos, um, I did good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, was, it was early this morning, but I did good. <laughs> yeah, John, I had to reduce the sound so I don't get a copyright strike where I got, like what I got in October. Uh, I, I've got a copyright uh, claim on uh, the Expo video for, uh, for uh, one song. Yes, that's why I turned the volume right down on my video, so mm -hmm. I wouldn't get the copyright straight. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, I want to, I, I think you walk around and you want to give them some of the of, of the atmosphere there, so you have to get the noise from there. But I know, but you can't if they play music, which they were on the Friday, Saturday mm -hmm. and Sunday. Yeah, I know. So, so I had to make it all quieter and just so I forgot <laughs> I, I didn't want to do that actually <laughs> I did it on purpose I let it, I let the sound on on purpose but yeah I've got a claim <laughs> just make sure you don't get another one in the next year or your channel will be gone okay if it's your main channel if it's a uh, um, secondary channel for your username that you yeah. use on YouTube you should be fine because you can, can then register another channel yeah. and take over the ownership of the, the, the old sub channel because yeah. that, that's what I had to do because my original channel yeah. um, had three strikes and it was gone <laughs> oh okay <laughs> I, I, but I already got some strikes. <laughs> oh, I would watch it happen. Yeah. I would create another um, account on YouTube using a different email address. Yeah. And give that account the same rights as what you're using at the moment. So if something does happen to your own, yeah. um, your account with your email address, you've still got the backup there to take over. Uh, I've got. A, I already got another uh, YouTube channel, two even. But I've got another YouTube channel made. So and then uh, I have to look at that how it works. <laughs> uh, another thing to do. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Really, I've got too much to do. So too bad. much to do. Oh. oh. I've and still got a shrimp to try and tidy up. <laughs> I never hate time to do it. No, me neither. It, it's a dump here. And now my camera is already set up. That's that's something. <laughs> <laughs> so, camera is set up. Everything is set up again. The, the lights are set up again. So I can start filming. That's something. But I don't have a lot of place. <laughs> Everything around the place to film is full of junk. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's like the desk that I'm at at the moment. That's full of mods and bottles and everything. Same here. Three mods, a laptop, batteries, a scale, uh, wires, old pots. <laughs> and that's in front of me and then I'm not talking about the table where I do my close-ups. 
that's too much to <laughs> that's too much there <laughs> well the table I'm on at the moment is an L-shaped table so it goes along there and then along there mm -hmm. and then you can see at the back of me I've got the work top that runs from there to our way down past the printer and it's all covered in junk <laughs> I had to move some to get that on <laughs> Yeah, uh, same feeling here. Even the ground is full of. Uh, even the ground is full. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's a really it's a man cave. <laughs> but but I've got loads of junk over that side that no one gets to see. Mm. <laughs> I really need my new computer so I can start doing more work on the computer faster <laughs> and uh, I need a, a good 3D, a 3D program to to uh, to make designs so looking for that but that's for on the new PC and I want two screens uh, Fusion 360 <laughs> Fusion 360 yes uh, something to that's what I use for the 3D printer oh. Because uh, I want to 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 design my own RDAs and uh, and not only uh, draw it on a sketch and then send it to a, an engineer. I want to make my own 3D printing. But yeah, uh, uh, nothing to write. Okay, nothing. Yeah, send it in a message, cause. <laughs> but <laughs> it's it, it's for it's for next month, so. If you send it now, I forget. <laughs> I ask again in a month <laughs> when yeah, the yeah. When, with the new computer. So, uh, so it's going to be a hassle to start all over and find all the programs again. And uh, hell. What's Kevin saying in your chat? What's Kevin saying? Uh, when when is a review from the Mesh Man coming? As soon as possible. That's the first one who's gonna come up. So that's the first one I'm gonna record in, in, in total. So I think maybe I'm gonna record it tomorrow. But when it's gonna be up, Tuesday then I think, hopefully. But I'm not <laughs> promising anything. <laughs> but the Mesh Man, is to, uh, everything is ready to record uh, the review, so. I've still got to purchase. I want one. Mm. Yeah, it's a nice mod. Well, I've tried it's to get one at Expo, but they're running. <laughs> <laughs> you have to ask Nicole. Nicole Zing on the Vape Family. The the Facebook group Vape Family. That's from Rinko and there's a Nicole Zing. And she manages all uh, the, the review, the marketing for review. Yeah. You have to send a name and a message on to me. <laughs> <laughs> Still remember. Mm. Yeah, it's on the Facebook gr group. If you post some pictures there in their group and you're a little bit active, they're pretty easy to can to get uh, stuff to review, and it's all good. And I like Rinku, so <laughs> I don't think I should go any of those. No, I don't think I've reviewed any of Rinku yet. Uh, everything they brought out, they sent it to me. So I've almost uh, every, not every pot system, but oh, what I've got from them, the Manto, Manto S, the Manto Mini. Uh, right, I've got the Manto S. Um, That's that. And th there was another pot system they sent it me, but I can't remember which. Uh, Oh no, this yeah the Cito pot system they send it me. And the and the Niso pot system or something. And then yeah, I don't know. By all means. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm a good beggar at Expo also. <laughs> yeah. It it was pretty fine. What what I finally got uh, it, it's it's not too bad for only going uh, around three times at the expo. I've got uh, enough uh, things to review for the next two months. So, 
Yeah, that's yeah, the only thing I've actually had for them is the man to wait. That's the only thing I've reviewed for them. You have to send them here. <laughs> <laughs> empty. My bottle is empty again. What are they saying? I think it's very hard giving you copyright strike for a broadcast that you're bringing to people. Mm hmm. And just for one song in in the uh, in the whole video. <laughs> yeah, because you don't have rights to broadcast it. <laughs> <laughs> but is it only when you get uh, advertisement money from it? I don't earn anything on my videos. No, doesn't matter if you have got your advertisements on or not. So I don't have it monetization. Yeah. And I still got the strike. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it. Okay, <laughs> I don't know what to say about it, but I think it's stupid. <laughs> Especially if you're walking around on a show and with where music is playing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When it gets like that, that's why I've got boxes of uh, gear everywhere. You just keep buying and buying even what you've got. It's better when you first start because you have one kit and that's it. Three months old school, but I still don't want to buy it. <laughs> yeah, Alan, I know what it is. <laughs> you always want more mods and more RDAs and there's something new and I want that new one. <laughs> uh -huh. That's why me with the mech, mech man, not mech man. Uh, I want it, but I've got loads of mods. And there are a lot of mods I want. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of mods I still want, but... Uh, I'm glad I got the squonker from him, the, the Viger. I'm really glad that I got, <laughs> I still got that one. And from Van, mm -hmm. and, and Vandy Vape also gave me something. Did they? Yeah, at the end of the show. The little squonker. <laughs> what one's that? Wait, the the simple X squonk kit. Ah, right. I've already done that. Uh, the, this one. It was a sample that was on a on show. I don't <laughs> think I've gave it away. <laughs> I just I don't I, I that one I tried already and it didn't work so I need to find out what's wrong with it because it was a show model that they gave me uh, at, yeah, at the end of the show when uh, everything was closed after four I went to them uh, and I asked them come do give me now give me a sample <laughs> the, the 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 lady we were talking to on a, on the table when they were filming. She, yeah. she, no, oh no, te for ten, for ten pounds. She said, no, 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 ten pounds. <laughs> and, and I <laughs> kept on, you know, no, come on, come on. All right, here. <laughs> 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 I, I really wanted something from Vandy Vape. That's the first time, so I really wanted something from him. <laughs> I don't think I've actually had anything from him. I can't remember. <laughs> And and uh, Geek Vape also gave me one thing now. That's that's also special. The only time they gave me they gave me stuff was in uh, Shenzhen. Then then uh, they gave me a lot uh, actually. But in Shenzhen, every company gave something. <laughs> <laughs> in Shenzhen, it's paradise for reviewers from Europe. <laughs> really, you're, I know that quote. And since you've just joined us. To make you aware, there is two chats, I've done two YouTube live chats going. There's one on mine, which are on, and there's one from Demi's channel. So yep. If you hear me asking Demi what such such said, <laughs> it's on Demi's channel. <laughs> but thanks for coming along. You're more well to welcome to ask questions for me, Demi or anybody else in chat. And I'm a little bit quiet today, but don't worry, I'm still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Normally I ain't that quiet, but 
mm, today. Yeah, so you're staying at the Arden yeah. when you go to Expo. Yeah, met, uh, met some nice people there also. Uh, uh, a Swedish coal builder, forgot his name, but. <laughs> <laughs> That's what business cards are for. Yeah, I know, but it was late. <laughs> it was the last day. <laughs> so. And then um, uh, uh, someone uh, from Holland also met a, 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 a mod maker and he has a, a shop in Holland and, and wholesale and everything. Nice guy, but his contact I've got, so we keep in contact. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, but I, I like the art and I came to the Premier Inn and okay, it's nice that everybody's there together. And I will come every year over there at a, at an evening to to come <laughs> to, to to chat with everybody, but it's too too loud there, too too crowded. I really want when I go back to the hotel and I came back in the garden, it's just a nice and easy hotel. You've got a swimming pool. You've got you've got your fitness. You got your snooker. Uh, <laughs> if you go to the restaurant in the evening. You're sitting there on your own, <laughs> in, a, in a big restaurant and nobody in the restaurant, You're just me on one table eating my steak. <laughs> uh, I love the, the, the peace and quiet there. Yeah, so well that's one, one thing about Premier and you have to book your table for your evening meal. It's not too bad this time, because we were doing it as a group, as in, there was one night we actually had to take up two tables because there was 16 of us all together. <laughs> <laughs> that was on the Saturday because that's when most of everybody's there. So we sort of hijacked just, just as you walk in <laughs> the dining area um, because there was that many of us. But when I was there in October there was one night that I sat on my own and the other two I had somebody else sitting with me. But it was a lot better with the big group, even though if somebody like me gets a starter and nobody else does, they have to wait till I'm finished my starter before they go to the main course. And then once I was finished my main course, I was up and away and they were still waiting on their dessert. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's why I always go to the Arden on my own and I eat alone. <laughs> I go to the restaurant, sit on my table, nice and quiet on my own, get my Budweiser, my big steak, and that's what I need. <laughs> nice and quiet, and then then the, all the, 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 all the noise from the expo can go. <laughs> so uh, I need, yeah, I, I always go back to the yard and I think, and uh, I like it there, and, and next time I'm gonna take my swimming pants with me and I go to the bubble bath at night and relax and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's more my thing. <laughs> I spend a lot of money when I'm five days away from home. <laughs> I eat I a lot. <laughs> yeah. I spend it uh, 600 euro, I think. So. <laughs> yeah, so AFC, it's good to meet people at the Expo. Mm -hmm. People come up and say, hi, I'm such, such, even more by the time I've walked around the corner, I forgot your name. <laughs> <laughs> That's what usually happens. Yeah, um, yeah, I sold him the last time at Yeah. It's just guess. with the buzzy actually being there. Things didn't get taken in. It's like um, the waterfall stand. I found out as I was leaving on the Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but it was hard to find because I was always looking for it and I came by it twice at the expo, but always on purpose. <laughs> I never... No. Yeah? You keep going. Yeah, I, if, if I wanted, if I was looking for the Watofa, I never found it. <laughs> and at the end, I got the Elder Dragon. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, the recovery wouldn't... Uh, they, they were going to send me the recurve du duel. <laughs> yeah, Waterfall was under the UK distributor's name. And that's why you couldn't see it on the map. 
and they were on the red carpet, which I don't go on. <laughs> but I never walk the red carpet. Got what? shoes with just juices on either side, all the way up and all the way down. So I just miss out the red carpet altogether. I, I never look at the carpet actually. <laughs> I do, because that gives me some sense of where I am. <laughs> no, no. I, I look at some when I I walk through the to the hall. I look to some brands or and that's my points that are of recognition in in the where for where I am I never no. I do that with the map I'll check the map before I go find out where certain companies are yeah in the hall and I'll use them as reference points but they're usually ones that's out on the edge against yeah. the wall yeah in the middle is yeah. because as soon as you walk to a wall you can you can't go no further and you just look to see what stalls are about, so you can where you are. That's what I did anyway. I never look at the map. <laughs> I just, I just start, I just start walking and I see where I'm going, and I go, I go around once, looking at everything and trying to remember where I saw what, <laughs> and some things stay in my mind like Duffo you said no no that way of the no no Duffo's there <laughs> I knew no. where Duffo was <laughs> the map for October's up already and I'm trying to see where the meet and greet area is yes yeah, it's a wee bit bigger than what was okay. it's not much bigger um, you should have actually had us. Yeah, have not got one. No, they don't have a media area. That's strange. Not once they've got to use the vapor scape for it. Okay. But the map's up already and it's the same as what was in October last year. So it's going to be the other end of the NEC. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. And now we're up near the Premier Inn end, it's going to be nearer the station, train station. Mm, okay. Yeah, we're, we're in October. I was in another hotel then, on the other side of the uh, expo. I don't yeah. remember what hotel, but <laughs> it was a hotel with a casino on top. That's all <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, at least in October there's only one red carpet running straight up the middle, where the one that we were just at, they had two oh. stalls in between it. I, I really didn't... <laughs> I didn't mind the, the carpet really. <laughs> <laughs> the only w where I saw a red carpet was around the stage. Yeah. That's the only red carpet I saw. Hmm. I have to look at my videos again. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Merchandise, VIP, bold, meet and greet, uh, vapor skate, bar and chow. Yeah, so it looks like they don't have a media area set out for us. Alright. Yeah. But that could change. Yeah. Do you already uh, ask for your press ticket? No. no. Oh, it's way too early for that. Okay. Um, that's usually about August, September before okay. they start doing that. Okay. All right. I hope Umir also go, goes there and I can get an ex exhibitor pass again, but... <laughs> <laughs> what, for both of us? Again. Because <laughs> yeah. that was easy, the exhibitor pass. That was easy to get in and to get in early. <laughs> See every everybody waking up. Really <laughs> easy. <laughs> But see, I usually come around with everybody else to the hotel, so we usually get there about the half nine anyway. Yeah, yeah. It was just the sun that helped me, or saved me to walk the full length of the hall on the outside to come back in to walk up again. 
Oh. <laughs> and if I knew that on the Saturday, I would have done that on the Saturday as well. Mm, no, I always went through the front door, so <laughs> that wasn't a problem, but it was easy. When you <laughs> came in, you didn't have to go walk around, and you can straight go into the corner, into the hall. Yeah. That, that was easy. <laughs> so, And then I, I, I thought it was a little special that you can walk around there in the morning before everybody was there. You can have a chat with the other uh, exhibitors. It, it, it was, yeah, in the morning it was... Uh, yeah, a, a, a nice atmosphere there. It was like a family and it was nice. It, uh, my expo was really, really good because I, I really saw it from a different side this this, this time. And yeah, th I, I had a really good expo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still, I'm still, I'm still enjoying it and I'm still tired of it. <laughs> I think if I get an exhibit pass again, I'll go a bit earlier one day, just so I can get some footage without music or yeah. anything like that. Yeah, and then there no, there are no people there, and it's really they're setting up everything every morning, and it's, it's something different. The Thursday was that was actually Thursday was was crazy because I was there around. One one o'clock in the afternoon, I think one thirty, and nothing was ready. There weren't any carpets on the floor. N none of the big stands were ready. Nothing, <laughs> really nothing. And it was a. They're never gonna get ready till tomorrow. No, it's <laughs> never gonna get ready. And then I walked around there, and uh, uh, around three o'clock we went to the to the restaurant, and the the thing that was already changed in those two hours I was there was crazy really crazy the the, the, the whole the, the hall was full of people every everywhere people were working yeah, it, 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 it was really strange to see <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and yeah. I think about it people that's putting the carpets and that down yeah. that's their job that's what they do every day because obviously they've got 20 holes to do uh -huh. and it could be for anything yeah, and every and they're they're laying the car carpet, and everybody's walking over it <laughs> 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 while they're working, just walking over it. <laughs> so uh, it's a hell of a job, but someone's got to do it. <laughs> That's what they get paid for. It was like when we left on the Sunday night, and we were heading back to the hotel. Yeah. All you seen outside was three lines of vans waiting to go in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and it was one line was for Hall 17, one line was for Hall 18. Was it 17, 18, 19? 20, 20, yeah. No, Hall 20 is actually the hall that the the normal people stand and wait in. Ah, okay. <coughs> the normal people. <laughs> <laughs> the normal pain. Yeah. Um, Saturday or Sunday for mm. one day ticket holders or two day ticket holders. Um, yeah. That's hall twenty is actually that hall. Okay. But the main expo is in seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, I think. Yeah, seventeen yeah, we were in seventeen so we're using uh yeah. seventeen, eighteen, nineteen and then twenties yeah. for the one and two day pass holders. You get them. All right. I, I'm curious about Stuttgart because they say it's going to be bigger than Birmingham. So, and my boss already said I can go. So, <laughs> <laughs> you just have to go on the site and see if I've got a fourth plan. Yeah, I know. <laughs> if you go on to the Vapor Expo site and it's under. Exhibitors information and there's a four plan and I'll show you the four plan that they're going to be using for the export. And obviously people or companies book stalls, their names go in it and I think it's blue they go in and then it changes to fight once it's confirmed that's where they're going. Uh, okay. 
so there's no two stalls booked by this different company. Well, there's no one stall booked by two companies. Uh, some some things still go wrong because uh, the the guy from Holland where I was somebody in the hotel, their booth was changed. Normally they stand now they were right beside us, right Umir in the in the stand in the booth in front of them had a big wall. A really big wall so they didn't see anything from their from their boot just a wall in front of them and normally the the, the one with the big wall has to stand behind them but it, it was a mistake from uh, the building <laughs> <laughs> yeah so not no, something some things go wrong <laughs> yeah they, they weren't so happy but they sold good so made 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 up for it <laughs> Well, chaps, that's time. It's nine o'clock. Uh, ten o'clock, yeah. <laughs> for you, yeah. <laughs> nine o'clock for, for me. For me, it's ten o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> um, so thanks everybody that's come in to the chat and chatted. Even though you haven't asked us much questions tonight, which makes nope. a change. <laughs> um, mainly talking amongst yourselves, which is good. Um, and sorry I went out for uh, <laughs> half an hour, but family business. <laughs> sorry we watched it twice yeah. tonight. Um, the first time when Aiden went away, and then when Demi was going off his phone and onto his webcam. Yeah. Hopefully next week we won't have no hassle. <laughs> I'll have my camera turn it around again, and once I figure out how it's actually done that. <laughs> Mysterious what? Yeah, but it's it's thirteen today, so <laughs> yeah, thirteen to show today. Yeah, it was expected. <laughs> we knew something was going to happen. We just didn't know what and when. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we do. <laughs> All right. But blame Aiden anyway. Oh, dummy, you better go and check your Facebook group. My Facebook group. Yes. Uh. Facebook group. My Facebook group. And nobody's posted. How many Facebook groups do you have? A oh, few. <laughs> I, I've got one group and one page. The crazy damper, there's nothing posted. Wait, where are the other pages? Is it in? Oh, uh, no. I can't see nothing at all. I'm going to the page. Um, we're, <laughs> we're having troubles at the moment. Uh huh. <laughs> so take it they didn't bombard your page no not because when you went away we told everybody to go to your facebook group yeah. and post something but obviously they haven't but you can't post on my facebook group <laughs> why because <laughs> only i can post on my facebook group you can only uh, comment on my posts Oh, that's shocking! Yeah, I did that on purpose. That's Why? my that that's the f my Facebook group where I post all my reviews and everything for people. The they're only on Facebook, but I didn't want it to be a, a group from uh, which like every other group, and you can't find anything back. And if I post a review, that an hour later you can't find the review back. I didn't want that. I want a Facebook group where only I can post. <laughs> so, nah. I'm, so I'm the selfish. Next time, <laughs> the next time we'll have to tell them just to go to your Facebook, your personal Facebook and post it. Yeah, there you can post things. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> on my personal Facebook you, you can post and on, on my Facebook page you can post. So we'll just send them to your page the next time then. Uh, my page. I don't use my page a lot anymore because that's the page where uh, the government was going to find me for. So now I don't <laughs> paste there, post there anymore. So and in my group, they can't only comments. <laughs> I'll just get them to comment on one of your posts. 
That's no problem. <laughs> <laughs> That's no problem. <laughs> so, nah, they can't post. They, and I'm glad I did that because now it's just my my group where I can post everything people want to know. <laughs> and I post there. So sometimes I post there things like yesterday night with the night work that wa that I was editing and some personal information and it's only my page. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, anyway, we're up in the okay. <laughs> So thanks again to everybody that came along tonight. And um, if you like the show give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs down if you want. It's still interaction on the video, which is always good. We will be back next week, hopefully we will have a guest. I don't think we've got anybody lined up yet, but we'll try and get somebody. Yep. Uh, yeah, I'll contact and somebody. Are uh, you contacting somebody? Uh, I've got, I've got some, if I can, I can contact Wendy, if I'm in the beginning of the week, if I contact her in the be beginning of the week, maybe she could come on, but I have to contact her early, so I have to do that tomorrow or else <laughs> I, I not then there are some other one, people I can contact so um, it, it will be okay we'll find somebody <laughs> no so problem we'll, we will have a guest on we don't know who <laughs> <laughs> no surprise for us too <laughs> usual time 7 o'clock British summer time uh, if you're in the UK 8 o'clock if you're in Belgium yeah or around about that area <laughs> <laughs> Slop all. We will try and be on time and we will try and have it half all free where there's nothing strange happening. Like that, what happened tonight. But that's a crazy <laughs> vape show, that's why it's called crazy. <laughs> so thanks for coming along. Yo um, If you do have any questions for us you could always pop onto a pages or groups and ask us and then remind us on the show that you asked the question so we can answer you on the show as well. <laughs> it would always be nice. So thanks again for coming along. Stay safe and bye just now.